Hey, I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Football Manager 2020. This is episode number 14. We are just about to hit the January transfer window. And we're starting to get all the notices about expiring contracts. It, early deals are trying to come in. Uh, first off, Bastion, there was an offer. We accepted an offer from two clubs. One of them that he was demanding be accepted. And then he couldn't come to terms with either club. So no deal for him at this point. Here's where we're at on the players. Bastion, no interest in signing a new contract. I have no interest in retaining his 59000 per week salary. But I'd love to get something out of him. Montero set for release. Norfelt, definitely thinking about it, but we don't have a replacement. We have a low knee in goal now. This is the one that bothers me because I would love to retain Vanderhorn. He is the core of our defense, and he's on a pretty decent salary. But he has no interest in signing a new contract, which really hurts because we stand to get nothing if we let him go. Uh, Tom Carroll at 27, three stars, kind of iffy on whether we retain him or not. Depends on what he's willing to take. A uh, similar deal, I suppose, is okay. Anything more than that is not a chance. But Naughton, Routledge, Dyer, all 30-plus-year-old players, uh, remnants of the Premier League side that got relegated in the first place. Uh, those guys all set for release. Uh, Seton Harry's somebody I would like to retain, but here's the problem with him. He's got some potential, and he's progressing well at Fortuna Sitard, but he doesn't have a lot of value. And he is super slow, which doesn't work for our formation center-back-wise. I cannot have somebody uh, who has no pace back there, meaning he has no future with this team. Though, if he's cheap enough, I'd like to be able to sell him as he develops a bit more. Uh, Baker Richardson, kind of another one that we might be up for uh, letting go. I don't think he's going to develop much more. Okay, Jack Evans... Defensive, what, midfielder? High value kind of guy. And the rest are all young players. So go through them another time. But there's no one in here outside of Vanderhorn that I'm keen on keeping around and that's a bit bothersome that's very bothersome that's a lot of expiring contracts that's the good thing is that frees up a lot that I could potentially go after others uh, here's another thing to keep an eye on though is we do have a lot of expiring contracts within the staff the coaching staff some of these guys uh, are remnants of the old guards some are ones that I'm going to want to keep in under 18's assistant here. He's got high adaptability and discipline working with youngsters, but nothing else. Uh, so we will. Okay, apparently we can't just set for release any of those guys. He's okay. Under 23's. But he's not great. He's making a thousand a week. I can definitely find some better coaches out there than what we have. Here's our under 18's head coach. He's got some decent attributes there. He's not a bad coach at all. Yeah, she's a decent physio. Probably get her re-signed. Mm 
not a good physio. There's a decent physio. Youth contracts, plenty of those expiring as well. Lacking potential, all of them. And I just set all of them for release. We brought in a lot of players to the club this season, to the youth ranks. Should replace a lot of these guys. Wondering though if these two and a half star ones, you know what, can I change that? No, I cannot. <laughs> Maybe we do want to keep Ali L comedy around a little while longer. Target man though. Not ideal. Charlie Clancy, a year older. Pace, he's already got good dribbling and finishing's alright. Decisions are okay and he is improving. And as strikers they tend to have better sale value later on. Okay, we have uh, an offer made for this 19 year old with a 21,000 value. All were, all of the bids were automatically rejected, but here's the big one, Vanderhorn. His value is seen at just five million, which is not a lot, and it's not something that I want at all. Uh, it says he's happy to stay at the club. Some end of contract stuff going on. Brighton looks willing to actually get a transfer in for him. I certainly don't want a transfer of zero dollars. I, I want that five, five million minimum. Uh, otherwise, I'd rather just keep him for the season. Why would I want to give up our best player for literally nothing in return when I could at least keep him till the end of the season? And then lose him for nothing in return, but at least have the benefit of the second half of the season with our best player. Or, you know, the alternative is I make five million or more off of it, so at least we get something in return for losing him. Uh, not into those deals at all. Next up is Charlton Athletic. They are in last place. We're going to play them <clears throat> in this next game. We are coming off of a 2-1 victory. And then Rochdale FA Cup home match here in just a couple days. Really looking forward to that one. Finally getting into that tournament. Uh, Selena for Byers. We're still stuck with Hoban. Why? Wow, I haven't seen anything like that in a while. Let's see, I'm uh, gaining a measure of revenge. Just want to win. Let's see, a oh, poor run, six league games. Confident as long as we stick to our plan. Need him all season long.
Um, I don't want to make ambitions about that this early. Maddie Longstaff, here's to not just being great fit in terms of your team's style. <clears throat> I'd say he's well fit. <clears throat> By the way, that's a player who is playing in the Premier League for Newcastle. Scored a couple goals against Manchester United. Reading coach under threat. A couple bad results questions are asked. Yep. Not in Valinch. Dyer. Not happy with comments. Oh, that I'm not concerned about what happened last time. Apparently they want to hear, let's get revenge. There it is. Chats for window opens. Got two loans ending. Those were two players who were not happy with the loan deals that they were on. Whoa, look at all that email. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, now there's interest? Okay. Uh, taking way too long to get our alternate where we need it. Roberts made Team of the Week uh, after scoring a goal in our last game, our 2-1 victory. He has been. Why am I getting a reminder about this? There's not a chance in the world that he's going to play every game. So I'm very confused as to why he's ticked off. Or why I'm getting that reminder. Because he's played every other game. Which should be more than enough to uh, keep him pleased. Okay, good potential ability here. But not great now. Let's keep scouting this guy though. Here we go. Shabani on loan from Wolves. So he's already out somewhere. So we could shortlist him though. He's already good for our level and definitely could be quality Premier League player. Oh, I love the potential ability here. Gribbon. Oh, the cost is way higher than the value though. Okay, transfer window is now officially open. And we already have one transfer. Oh, that's the long offer. Okay. Definitely intent on getting through these two games. Hey, top of the class, what's that? Okay, they do want to ex... French player, though. <clears throat> Not a fan of that one, but whatever, whatever. This is the deal. He wanted to extend, so we'll give it to him. He's not ready to play for us. Wow, the only midweek game... 
It's this one. Yeah. Fulton picked up mixed personality. Murphy improving well. Kalulu, player of the month. Seven goals and six appearances. Dang. 7.95 average rating for the month. Let's go for the congratulations. Oh, hello. I get an award as well. Are you going to come into my office and say thank you now? Not you listening, but, you know, metaphorical you, somebody, player. Oh, the president. There you go. No, he's just happy about it. <laughs> Connor Roberts, we did not praise you last month. But Tommy Hoban, you're playing. Uh, you're new to the team, though. New to the team. I will give you time to settle in. Uh, this part's hurting, though. We do finally get into the FA Cup. There should be some more money in there. Okay, we got a couple guys back. Mason Jones Thomas, six goals and 16 appearances. Not a great rating though. Oh, Garrick's back for now. Dotted line hasn't been signed. So he'll be treated like a new loanee all over again. <clears throat> Alright, so we're getting some guys back, including Declan John. Performance review is now a B. Bastion's recent performances are the one weakness that I'm being assessed on, but him sucking is not on me. That guy just only gets one-on-one -on -one chances and hits them straight at the keeper, which I've heard is related to a bug, so he's just not the right player type to succeed in this game as it currently exists, as it currently is run. Uh, yeah, Bidwell still suspended. Don's not really ready, ready to go. Declan John's not quite ready to go. Though it did say he was cleared. But it looks like we're gonna go one more game without him. Boy, will not suddenly. Match sharpness is gone. And finally, Rodon Vanderhorn. <laughs> Have a partnership. <clears throat> Hoban started the last game. He did okay. Wasn't great by any means. It's not his position. But he filled in well enough. Yeah, take revenge. Okay. Let's go. We owe them for what happened last time. I have faith. Yeah, that's enough fun of that. Let's get to the game. Since I want to get two in, we'll try to make this one go quickly enough. This should be a comfortable victory, but... You never know. <clears throat> There's no guarantees with a team like ours. Yeah, that very well could have been a mistake trying to keep that ball in. Luckily we recover it. Grimes to Hoban. Hoban with the ball over the top to no one. Gives it away. Gets them off to the races. And for a second time, we just make a stop. That ball flashes all the way across goal, but Matty Longstaff makes a really nice play on that. And it's then played out of bounds. We have not had a shot yet, but it's only eight minutes in. <coughs> Charlton 
heavy on the pressure early in this game. Two chances, three chances. But we are just crumbling at the back at the moment. Long ball through. Kalulu! He's better in the one-on-ones, but still misses them sometimes too. That shot was not straight at the keeper, at least. The keeper made it. Really nice save. Trail 4-2 in the shot department. Possession. 8% their direction at the moment. Nothing's going right, but here's Borja with his chance. Here's the ball flashed across. Selena should have scored that. He's looking for play in time. He's complacent, and he misses a golden opportunity on that one. That might be why you're not the starter normally, and Byers is, though Byers isn't doing great either, and that's kind of the problem is I have two young guys with some potential that are sharing the load, and neither one of them is getting it right. Here's Grimes with the ball across. Vanderhorn gets there. Wins the header. Looked relatively uncontested. He should have done better. That was headed well over. Nearly half time. Here's another chance. Rodon this time with the volley straight to the keeper. Wow, great first touch there, but was that a shot? Is that a pass? You do know that you were all alone out there and you had nobody flashing across the far post. No? You weren't aware? Oh, okay. Yes, disappointing. Very assertive. Uh, far from pleased. And some of them not responding too well to that. Well, not poorly. Ugh. Raha Bastion. Guy's so worthless to us. Can't wait to get rid of him. I was really hoping we could get him sold there. Ooh, that was a really poor decision. That was a... I wanted to pass it, but then the pass option wasn't really there, so then I just kind of tapped the ball. The other way. Borja gets to this one first. Beats his man. Gets it over the top. Kalulu's offside. Disallowed. He was definitely offside. Thursday. Closer than I thought, actually. But definitely outside. So, no surprise. But guess who scored? Kalulu. He might be a full star below. Ooh, good stop from Woodman. I kind of thought that was in the back of the net for a moment. Vanderhorn, nice pass. Roberts, ooh, not quite enough over the top. That's a good ball over the top, but we recover. Oh! Boy, that looks like a dangerous play. It looked like he took our legs out and didn't get anywhere near the ball. But there's Kalulu. That pass wasn't even to Kalulu. I thought he still had it. The keeper somehow picked it up. Vanderhorn picks up a yellow. Can we recover this ball? Oh, for a second, I thought we were going to put pressure on. There's Vanderhorn. Roberts. Grimes. Through. Roberts. Down the flank. In. And there's Kalulu. 16th goal of the season. That guy finishes. And he's always right there, just playing right at the edge of the back line. Multiple yellow cards in the defense for Shelton. Four yellow cards in the five backmost players outside of the goalkeeper. There's another one. Kalulu. Chance to make it two. Borja. Bastion. What a poor play. We're an hour in. Half hour left to play. Kulu lays it off. Grimes resets over to Roberts. Into Longstaff. Back out to Roberts. Roberts works it inside. Takes the shot, but not enough gusto on that one. Need a little bit more power. Here's Hoban. He turns it over. That's the first mistake we've seen from him today. But here's a nice ball over the top. That might have been an offside, but we'll never know now. Kalulu going the other way. He's got... Oh, he works it all the way inside himself. I, I thought for sure he was about to pass, but then all of a sudden he had space. Took the shot, Borja Bastion again. Messing things up. Boy, I don't know how long it's been since he's actually played 90 minutes because he's been garbage and I sub him out every freaking game. Was that not offside? 
Apparently not. No call. We'll see here in replay. <clears throat> Hard to say. Hard to say. I, I don't think he was offside, though. Uh, we just got caught out of position. And it is now time to demand more. Ah, Hoban picks up a light injury. I have no sub for him. No sub at all. Gashed upper leg. Wow, another long one o over the top offside? Yeah, okay. Oh, let's see. Do I need to bring on Street to play left back for Hoban? Or do I do something more aggressive like Peterson? Who's going to give us some offensive support? Uh, Selena. Holy crap, man. 6.3 rating. If that's enough of an indication that it's time for you to go. Double sub. Borja. Roberts. Nice cross. Uh, not a nice enough. Longstaff. Resets out to Hoban, who just gives it away again. Hoban. Better that time. Roberts, but he forced him back. Can Roberts make something happen? He does! Borja Bastion! Sends it wide. Look closer than it actually was. In the end, it was fairly well ro wide. Come on. Rodon. There is no reason to not have three points today. Oh, that's going to be a red card. That could be a straight red, not even a second yellow. It is a second yellow, though. Ooh, that was almost it. That was almost it. Okay, that was a second yellow. Pause, pause, pause. Tactics. Come on, what can we do? Uh, Peterson. Move up. Screw it. Move all the way up. Attack, there you go. Uh, Grimes, I need you to move up too. Box to box, sure. Let's make an impact out there. Let's go for it. They've only got 10 players. 1-1 one, one at home, last place team, four minutes to go. Come on now. Throw. There it is, Roberts. Borja. Roberts crosses. It's cleared. Rodon right recovers. Ball back ahead. Peterson playing up on that wing now. Ooh. Wasteful. Very wasteful. Peterson. The Lulu. Let's go for some early crosses. Maybe we could focus down the left right now. But I like Roberts on the right, so no, let's not change that. Oh, what a poor attempt there by Rodon. Roberts has the ball, running the other way. Time's almost up, free kick, Grimes. Goes for Rosie. We're going to come away with one point today. Oh, what utter garbage. No whistle yet, but it might come as soon as we throw this in. Kalulu sends it into Longstaff. Longstaff over the top to Kalulu. We're in the edge of the box, unmarked, and you blow the whistle then? Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. It, if you blow it as soon as we throw the ball in, I understand. Right? We're at ref's discretion at that point. We're on the minimum time. But where we have an advantage, a legitimate scoring chance to blow the whistle at that moment.
Uh, we're gonna go assertive, not aggressive. But that, simply put, was not good enough. They played with 10 mid, and we couldn't beat them. Last place team, and we couldn't beat them. Uh, we keep up the streak. It looks like Wigan also, yeah, Wigan at Birmingham. Nil-nil. So they struggled too. Birmingham's 23rd, Shelton 24th. Same points there, so ironically, but they were on the road. We were at home, and I mean, it was only the final minutes. But that was just, that was garbage. That was one of the worst performances I've seen from the team. And now Hoban's hurt. Uh, wow. All of that. Mawson, Alfie Mawson, Fulham, extra 650k coming. Needs five more appearances to get to 45. Uh, da, da, da. Don't think we need to panic. I don't think he's as consistent. No. My first instinct was that it was correct. I would favor video review. I'm not praising anybody's performance after that game. Aha, here we go. Norfelt completes a deal to Olympiacos. Six installments of 30,000. But we have to contribute some of his salary. Oh, not six installments, two installments half a year apart. So just 60,000. But at least it's something and we get rid of them. But now we need to do something. No parting comments. He never played for me. Not back in a full training. That's good. A few days away from that FA Cup match. So now we need a goalie goalkeeper. I think our young one's not going to be not going to be suitable. 25 year old powerful center back. Two and a half of three and a half. Affordable. Really good in the air. Good jumping reach. Determined. Consistent. Let's see. Wow, good at heading. Pace isn't too bad. It's already 25 though, so really don't think he's going to improve. Technique and vision hurt a little bit as he's expected to do some passing. Twenty-one appearances at the League One level with only a six point eight eight rating. It's not like he's doing wonderful things here. Oh, 
on loan from Norwich. Suppose we can compare. And well, the obvious that he's going to have to live up to, which is not fair, is Vanderhorn. And he's not even close, though he is better aerially, mentally but weaker in every other area. But can he play alongside somebody like Rodon? Looks like he could. He's very similar to Rodon, but he's slower with less vision. <clears throat> Which is definitely not to say that he's bad. Uh, Harry's is our developing young guy. See how similar they are. He actually is quicker than Harry's. Let's see, what about Wilmot? Oh, see, reminds me a lot of Wilmot. Same speed, a little bit less on the physicals, a little bit better defender. So he would be a little bit of an upgrade to to Wilmot. But I I just don't think he's worth it. He's gonna be better out there. Goalkeeper, I wonder how many goalkeepers they're going to throw at me now. Oh. No, I know Max or Rudy. No, we're good. Why would I panic after the latest result? Oof, Liverpool 5 0, quarterfinal, League Cup. Oh, awesome. Now he doesn't seem him himself. Uh. Vanderhorn, you take care of this one. Uh. Awesome. So your morale just got worse, and now I've got to deal with it. Uh, hey, let's be assertive, just tell him. Suck it up. There you go. He's not helping us. The couple guys that I just signed have replaced him. just too slow. Uh, end of contract. Dimitri Mitchell on my short list. Seattle Sanders going for him. All right, what do we have here? 
You guys are trying to take them away for nothing. Not a fan of that. I don't want to sell, so there's not much I can do with that guy. Big changes for the FA Cup match. Bidwell in, that's good. Lundstrom, Longst okay, okay, we're just switching around. <coughs> Nine goals in 15 appearances for him. Yeah, nice job there for the youngster. Really, a press conference for this? Apparently they're a sucker for the uh, the sappy comments. <laughs> As that ended up the the headline the next day. It's gonna be beautiful, man. Garrick heading back a day later, uh, two days later. Yay! Extra money coming in for the match against Hull. I would agree with that. Big if though, there you go. Da, 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 da. Okay, Remy Street, you've been here for a while. Okay, we signed that. At 17, this is all he is. Yes, he could improve a lot, but if he's way off, I guess, I don't know. 17's not that young. Not that old either. Excuse me, plenty of time to improve. Everybody's cleared. I'm way out of time, but uh, let's see. I think up. Come on now. Get in there. Oh, why so many questions? It's not the best weather. <sighs> Alright, into the match. And away we go. Must win today, boys. Raining hard. Here in the South of Wales. 
First cross blocked, second cross blocked, out for the throw. We haven't had the ball yet. And Horn clears that away, and Roberts goes off to the races. Three on three, Kalulu, nice ball through, and Kalulu nearly scores. It required a really good save, but you know how this game is with one-on-ones. They might have had some early touches, but we've already taken control of this game in the minutes since. And no pressure there. Finally, Matty Longstaff steps up. Kalu. That couldn't have been a shot. There's no way that's a shot. That was the exact opposite direction of where he was facing. His shoulders were open to the left corner flag. And then the ball goes across towards the right corner flag. So I think he was trying to pass. He's got a real chance here, and he scores. 1-0, Kalulu's 17th goal. Joe Roda with the assist on that one. And that's why it pays to have center backs who can distribute the ball. Coming from one who does exactly that. Four yellow cards already distributed just in the first half hour of this game. Here's a corner. Poor clearance. Sends it right back to the corner man. That shot is blocked immediately. Roberts heads that one away, but only a few feet away. And finally, we recover the ball and get to the races. And Kalulu, two chances. Can't get either one. First one, I can see how that didn't make it. But that second ball, after that recovery, I don't see how he missed. I really don't. All you had to do was take one step to the left, and then the entire goal is wide open. Byers forces the turnover. Borja crosses in. Bidwell. Oh, and it's in the back of the net. That is own goal. That is an own goal. It's off Sanchez's back leg, I think. It hit the underside of the crossbar, I believe. Bidwell. Volley. Okay, upper end of the post. Upper corner of the post comes off of Sanchez's leg into the back of that net, and it's 2-0, and it's looking comfortable. Speaking of looking comfortable, I think we've got this game in hand. I'm out of time for this episode, so we're going to go ahead and call it here. Oh, Kalulu, that was the inside of the post. I don't know how that, that didn't go in. The angle it hit, it should have just slid right in off the wet post and right into the back of the net, and somehow it came out. Grimes. Ooh, it's on target, but pretty much at the keeper. The wall was not placed well at all. They were kind of right down the middle. Halftime, 2 0. We're all over these guys. We've got this game. <clears throat> uh, can we say that? Good. Go. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in, and we get our first, hopefully, FA Cup victory. Ooh, poor ball there. Plays that one out of bounds. And we're moving on through. Transfer window. A lot could happen. So we'll get a little more action during this period. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.